Hello and welcome to the Science Ferry. In this video I want to show you how to build this FM transmitter. This transmitter is a bit more complicated. It consists of an audio amplifier, an oscillator, an RF amplifier and a filter. Also I can control the frequency with this potentiometer. This is the circuit diagram. You can see there is no potentiometer because I used a special component, a very cap, to control the uh, frequency of this circuit and I don't have this in the circuit diagram. In this place I only have a trimmer capacitor and you can adjust the frequency by just trimming the capacitor. This is how the circuit board looks like. I just glued pieces of circuit board onto a larger piece and this is creating connection points and the large piece is ground or minus and the long piece on the side is plus. Alright, I started on the right side and soldered a 6.8 microhenry inductor from one pad to ground and another 6.8 microhenry inductor from one pad to another. Then I soldered a 1 kilo ohm potentiometer from one pin to ground, from this pin here to ground, and the middle pin goes to the connection with the 6.8 microhenry inductor. After that I soldered a 100 nanofarad capacitor from the potentiometer to the next pad and from this pad to ground a 1 nanofarad capacitor. From this pad to the other a 1 mega ohm resistor and a transistor a BC547 with the collector to the one side of the resistor and the base to the other side with the two capacitors and the emitter to ground. From the pad with the collector I soldered a 10 kilo ohm resistor to plus. And from there to the next pad a 100 nanofarad capacitor. Then from there to ground a 1 nanofarad capacitor. And from this pad a 100 kilo ohm resistor. After that I soldered a BC547 with the base to the pad with the two capacitors and the resistor and the collector to the larger pad and the emitter to the other larger pad. And from the emitter to ground a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Between the two larger pads I soldered a 4.7 picofarad capacitor. At this point I added another pad because I forgot it. It's because of the uh, very cap and you don't have to do this if you only have a variable capacitor. I made a prototype with a variable capacitor and there are these two pads missing and you just have the variable capacitor. To adjust the frequency. After that I soldered a BB547B very cap with the marking to the pad facing in the direction of the larger pad. And from this pad to the larger pad a 1 nanofarad capacitor. And from the very cap to the other pad I added later I soldered a 100 kilo ohm resistor. Next I added the coil from plus to the collector of the transistor. The coil is 8 mm in diameter, 4 turns and approximately 7 mm long. The best way to make the coil is to use a screw with the right diameter and wrap the wire around it. After that I soldered a 330 ohm resistor from plus to the pad next to the pad for the very cap. And from there to the other pad another coil with the same dimensions as the first coil. And a 1 nanofarad capacitor to ground. From the emitter of the transistor to the next closest uh, pad I soldered a 6.8 picofarad capacitor. 
and from there to the other closest pad a 47 km resistor. And next I added another BC547 transistor with the collector to the coil, with the base to the other side of the resistor and with the emitter to ground. Then from the collector to the next pad I soldered a 47 picofarad capacitor. And from there to ground an 86 picofarad capacitor. Then another coil to the last pad with 8mm diameter and 8 turns. And the length of the coil is approximately 50mm. From the last pad to ground I added an 40 picofarad trailer capacitor and then a 10 microfarad capacitor from plus to ground. To control the frequency with the varicap I added a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer with one pin to plus, with the other pin to minus and with the middle pin to the resistor to the pad with the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Then I added the audio cable with minus to the pad with the inductor to ground and with plus to the other inductor. And at the end I added the power cable with plus to the uh, long piece of PCB I glued on there and with minus to the entire rest of the PCB. The antenna I soldered to the pad with the 40 picofarad trimmer capacitor and then the transmitter is done. To have the maximum frequency you have to adjust the 40 picofarad trimmer capacitor and since I don't have an oscilloscope I will use my RF detector and I will just place the RF detector next to the transmitter and if the LED lights up the signal is strong and if the LED goes out the signal is weaker and you have to put the RF detector closer to the transmitter and by that you can find out uh, what is the best value to adjust the transmitter on. I also made this um, aluminum foil cover because originally there's supposed to be circuit board all around it but I made this from aluminum foil and this is also uh, taped over with normal tape so it's not shorting out anything on here and this is just to keep this isolated the coils isolated so they're not affecting each other all right i switched on the transmitter maybe have to adjust it again yeah i leave it like that for now and I can switch the radio off for a moment and I will switch the RF detector on and you can see the LED is already blinking now it's going out it's not even in frame anymore and the LED is down here and it's still blinking on a pretty far distance and I will now adjust this potentiometer and see if the LED goes out or if I can move the LED further away and then I can see if I can move the LED further away that the signal is stronger Now it's adjusted right and the LED is on on the furthest distance I can have and now I will test out how much range I get out of this. Alright, I'm just outside and I will go around these buildings and check how far I can walk until the signal does not 
get received anymore at the moment uh, when the camera is uh, when it's too close to the camera it's um, getting disturbed or something so I can't have the radio too close to the camera but I will keep walking and see how far how much range I have all right I'm behind this building and it's pretty weak and it's not that far away a couple meters and if I go a bit this direction then it's completely gone and yeah so out of buildings it's not a huge distance all right I am almost at 200 meters and it's still pretty strong so I will keep going and see how far I get now it's pretty much gone but I I can still receive it uh, a moment ago I was still able to receive it Oh, there it is. There it is, yes. Uh, so I'm 200 meters away and I can still receive it. Unfortunately, there's a fence and I can't go further. But yeah. So yeah, 200 meters, I can't go any further because there's this fence, but 200 meters is pretty okay for a transmitter. Alright, I hope you liked this video. If yes, then leave a like or subscribe for more science projects. Until next time, bye!